Men dream of ideas in many ways. Some keep them only in their minds. Alan J. Lerner makes his come alive with action, words, and music. High in the mountains of Oregon, Lee Martin, Gene Seberg, Clint Eastwood, and over a thousand people will help bring Lerner's dream to roaring life. The lusty, bawdy gold rush days in the West. Here in this wilderness, they will build an entire city for the filming of Paint Your Wagon, Alan J. Lerner's new musical motion picture. My idea from the very beginning was to capture this quality that the gold country had of being a universal hope because people came from all over the world because there was still gold up in the trail. The reason that we went to the Wallowa Mountains was because this happened to be the only spot in America that looked like the High Sierras, which is, of course, the home base of the gold rush, where there was a mountain stream and which was still virgin territory. For Alan J. Lerner, his location also has to fill another requirement. It is to be the site of two cities, one of tents, another of 90 buildings. He again looks to the imagination of production designer John Truscott and the experience of director Josh Logan for together the three had created Camelot. They plan and prepare for an enormous project to reconstruct actual buildings for a realistic portrayal of a gold mining town. Much of the material and equipment has to be brought from Hollywood. 80 different construction vehicles have hauled over a half million feet of lumber up the trail to the base. Other vans brought in thousands of fur logs for corrals, hundreds of barrels of nails and rope. Carpenters from nearby towns help out crews from the studio. It will take them over two months to get No Name City ready for the cameras. While the buildings are being readied up in the mountains, the actors are rehearsing in a Hollywood studio under the direction of Josh Logan. I'm absolutely thrilled with the casting. I think Lee Marvin is one of the great actors of our time and, and any time as far as that goes. Lee Marvin does sing in the film. Well, he sings like Lee Marvin talks. He has a, a basso profundo speaking voice and he has a kind of a growly singing voice, but he's very, very musical. Do I know where hell is? Hell is in hello, heaven is goodbye forever, it's time for me to go. I, I don't sing per se, you know, I don't cut records or do tent shows or anything. I wouldn't even think about discussing the musical structure because that's not my bag. A wandering, wandering Lee Marvin plays what was called a wilderness man. Certainly, whatever there is in Lee Marvin that is of the wilderness man seems that the sum total of him because I just couldn't conceive of anybody playing it but Lee. He just walked into it, fully blown, fully grown. Clint is excellent too. We didn't realize that he has a real command of himself as an actor, but in this, he has an opportunity to really play scenes with the dialogue and not just pure action. Jean Seberg may seem a strange name to be up in the Wallowa Mountains, but actually she's an Iowa farm girl who uh, has become associated with the most sophisticated European film because she lived over there following Joan of Arc, but actually, as I say, she's a girl from the Midwest and is more at home and was more at home in the mountains here than probably she may have been even in Paris today. My character's name is Elizabeth. It's the story of the genuine love a woman feels for two different men who couldn't be more different, Lee being a sort of rough, tough, uh, rambling type and Clint Eastwood representing the 
quiet farmer type. As I say, there's this womanly quality about her. She had to be a woman, but she had to be a young woman. She had to be attractive. She had to be capable of some kind of a decent love. And for all of those reasons, she's absolutely ideal for the film. In the film, Lee Marvin and Eastwood have become partners. Now, a partnership in the gold country was the most precious thing in a man's life because it was, that was his whole family. That was his whole connection with reality and with humanity. And it was his mother, his father, his, his, uh, his buddy, his everything. My approach is to uh, come to Oregon and put Lee Marvin between me and Oregon and turn the camera and get out of the way. Action! Oh, Partner! Area can have all four seasons in the short span of one or two months. Right now, it's hot and dry, but the company needs rain to film Harv Presnell's song sequence. They make their own. Way out here, they got a name for rain and wind and fire. The rain is Tess, the fire is Joe, and they call the wind Mariah. Mariah blows the stars around and sends the clouds a-flying. Mariah makes the mountain sound like folks were up there dying. There's no question that this background of the gold rush always seemed to me the most natural environment for musical expression. You couldn't express the gold country, I don't think, in any way but music and lyrics because it's too, it's too exuberant. And therefore, this kind of robust carrying on, and you can't just do that in words. You just have to have music for it. Alan J. Lerner is capturing the genuine flavor of Americana in these mountains with his action, words, and music. Filming sequences like this for Paint Your Wagon. Thank <laughs> you. 